Hello everyone, let's talk about scary things any person can face. Not about ghosts, but about a guy who was like a ghost. The guy was in a coma for more than 12 years, and the doctors could not give any positive forecast for his parents. It is a miracle that he survived. This story seems impossible to us. Martin Pistorius was born in South Africa in 1975. When the boy was 12 years old, one day he came home from school and complained that he had a sore throat. After this day, he never returned to school. His condition disastrously worsened. A few days later, he was so exhausted that he almost completely lost control of his body and slept all the time. He began to lose his memory, and a few days later, he fell into a coma. Doctors could not diagnose the disease and believed it was cryptococcal meningitis and brain tuberculosis. For a long time, the boy was treated for an unknown disease. Doctors told his parents that if he came to his senses, he would never return to normal life. There was only a little chance for him to recover, and his parents took the boy home. He spent more than 10 years at home. Everyone thought he had lost all connection with the world. However, Martin claimed that he regained consciousness a couple of years after he fell ill. I was completely motionless, I was in a virtual coma, and doctors could not diagnose the cause, said Pistorius. No matter what treatment methods they tried, there was no effect. I was lost on earth and no one could save me. At the age of 17 years old, Martin regained his consciousness. The boy realized the harsh reality of his situation. He felt he was in a trap, as if he landed on a deserted island inside himself and his only companion was his gloomy thoughts. He was like a ghost and people seemed to look through him. He could not move and could not talk. He was afraid of spending all his life alone like that. For so many years I have been like a ghost. I could hear and see everything, but it was as if I were not there. I was invisible. It's like a cold, frustrating, and frightening feeling that absorbs every cell in your body, Martin recalled, as if you are a ghost observing life from the outside but not taking part in it, and no one knows that you are there. One day, Martin heard his mother say in a fit of despair that it would be better if all this ended soon. He did not understand how, but still it was painful for him to hear words like that. He could not show any sign or his presence in this world. Although he understood that she said that because she considered herself a bad mother and she could not help her son. The only person who always believed in the boy was his father. Every day, his dad washed and fed his son, dressed him and massaged him. Inside, I desperately shouted to him, Dad, I'm here, can't you see? But he did not notice me. The only thing I could do was a slight moving of one of the muscles on my elbow. The movement was so small, I knew my father would never notice it. Rage filled me. I began to choke. Dad looked at me, hearing my deep breath. I could only watch, praying that my silent despair somehow became noticeable, Martin recalls. I constantly trained my brain, solving problems in my mind. Once, when Martin was 25, one of the medical workers saw a spark of life in Martin's eyes. Gradually, he began to recover. Now he can talk using a computer. He types and the laptop speaks for him. Having received the opportunity to communicate, the man had reason to live. He was able to graduate from college and get a job as a designer in a web company. Not so long ago, Martin fell in love with Joanna, his sister's friend, and they got married. Now he lives happily with his wife in the United Kingdom. I'm happy with who I am, says Martin. Life can change very quickly. It is important to appreciate what you have at the moment. In 2011, Martin Pistorius' book, Ghost Boy, was published. In this book, he tells his story and shares his experience when he was locked inside his body and no one could hear him. The story of a person who recovered after a long coma and then started a new life appealed to our hearts. Not everyone could have survived and returned to normal life. Share this story with your friends. Perhaps it will help someone appreciate what they have and become happy because our happiness depends on us. See you soon!